Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. In this module, I want to have a look at using the Paste Special feature and linking to a website. So first of all, I've got a blank Publisher document open. And what I want to do is get some information from Excel and use the Paste Special feature to link it into this publication. So basically, when the data in Excel updates, it will show in this publication. So down the bottom there, I've got some Excel files open. This is the one I want. So let's say I want this data. I'll highlight the data as normal. Control C, copy. Come back to Publisher. Go to the Home tab. Paste. Special is the option The option I want. And then Paste Link. I want it linked. So if there's any changes, it will pick it up. Click OK to that one. And then position that wherever I want it to be. And then maybe... I'll come down a bit underneath that. I, want, I might want the graph, so I'll go and get the graph and do exactly the same. Into Excel, click onto this graph, copy, back into Publisher, Paste Special, Paste Link, and then that gives you the object there. Graph comes in, just have to resize it. So this data is going to be linked, so every time I open this file, it will update. So I'll just position those two there. Now, what I want to get now is a Word table, a table that I've got in Word that I want to use Paste Special and Link. So I'll go into Word. So this table, if this table changes, same process, copy, Control C, back into Publisher, Paste Special, Paste Link, OK. Position it where you want it to be in your publication. And then they're all linked in. Now, there are certain things that you can't use Paste Special on or Paste Link on. Uh, I'll just show you what I mean by that. If I go back into Word and let's just do some shapes. Insert some shapes. If I draw a shape, copy that shape with a control key. And then if I highlight these two shapes, that will do it with my shift key, and then copy those and paste them using Paste Special. So Paste Special works, but you can see the Paste link, which is a key point of this little exercise, is grayed out. So you can actually, you can paste them, but they won't be linked. Same problem you have if you do, um, I'll just delete those two. If you insert a smart art diagram, so if I just get a hierarchy diagram, okay, so copy the whole thing, bring it into Publisher, paste special, paste link is grayed out. So that is not going to be an option. I'll just try one more diagram insert a less complicated diagram into let's go for a process these are not as complicated so that's just boxes really so if i click on the edge copy paste special paste link not available so you can bring things individually sometimes that'll let you do that but you are restricted in some of the diagrams that you can bring in. in. Now, I'm sure you could use Paste Special from um, Word to Excel and paste it in as a picture or cap screen capture as a picture and maybe try that, but that isn't what I'm going to do on this little session. What I want to do now is another option, rather than doing Copy and Paste Special, is to insert an object and bring the whole object in. So create from file browse so i want advanced lookup I'll open i want it as a linked file okay now this is going to come in quite big oh quite yeah i'm going to say that called me a liar that did but here we go let's just resize this so this is an actual excel spreadsheet that is linked as an object and what can happen here is if I 
resize that a little bit if I double click on this I actually open Excel so I'm in the source file so whatever changes I make there obviously are going to be reflected in the publisher document so insert object is an option just make it a bit smaller the more of these you do the more memory you're going to take up now the last one I want to do before I save and close all of this is just a link a hyperlink because you can do this as well so if I just highlight my name and still on the insert tab and go to link you've got um, place in this document um, create a new document existing web page is what I want and I'm going to type my web address down there so I want this to link to my web page click OK so then you hold your control key down like you do in Word click on it and then it comes up to my web page back to publisher so that's the link option now none of this is updated at the moment so what I want to do is just save this and then close it and go and change some of these source documents so in Word I'll just add a name so this table is changed I'll just, leave, I'll just leave it like that so the table's changed so I'll go into Excel to the file I linked in I'll delete these figures so this table's changed and so is the graph so that'll do I think that'll prove the point and then back to opening this test document it should come up and ask me to update links yes and it's now doing it so you can see there that the figures have disappeared and uh, that the second person has come in on this table here Just zoom that in a little bit so you can see that so that's how you can embed information same process there slightly different because you would actually be opening that you can actually uh, edit this Excel file from within publisher as well as from within Excel but that's just a, a quick video on or a quick session on paste special and paste link into publisher and embedding objects and links so thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one